Peace be upon you all. Uh, I'm coming back. My name is Ahmed Sami, software engineer. We are going to continue our presentation of how can you make your web application screen reader friendly. Last time we stopped with tab controls. This time we are going to continue with how can you make your drop down standard menu user friendly. Okay, we're starting. This is the standard drop down menu as you can see menu which has a lot of menu items so you can click one of these items so you can trigger some action uh, we have the menu bottom itself which will trigger the drop down menu we give it area has pop up of menu as an indication that the pop up is a menu after that area controls we give it the menu id which we are going to open it then area expand is false it will be true once the menu is opened uh, the user the menu list itself an order list of the menu we give it a role of menu in case if we make our menu as an order list not a div container we give it area labeled by also menu bottom id to link the menu id with the container the menu list continue menu list itself if we if we are using the approach of user unordered list with the list we give it also role presentation or none to avoid in firefox uh, the issue with none uh, quantifying the number of menu items right how many items you have in this menu if you are using the approach of user list Menu items itself, we give it role of menu items to indicate it as a menu items. Uh, if you are using bottom, so the bottom will be focusable and keyboard accessible by default, just in case. If you use anchor tag, you give it half empty. Remember that we spoke about the H half empty, that it could reload your page, so you can give it like tab index uh, of zero, uh, and H half you can give it JavaScript. Uh, semicolon void zero also to avoid this reloading page and it will be already a keyboard accessible so for the menu items that's the basic functionality we need to do to make it you uh, user reader uh, screen reader friendly so let's now go to our presentation itself i'm going to start mvda Okay, here is the MVDA, here is a drop down menu. Okay, let's tap. You can see drop down bottom, bottom collapsed sub menu. All these indicators because the menu bottoms and the roles which already were given. So enter, menu is opened and you can read expand it, drop down menu bottom. You start, uh, you can tap the menu using tab key or you can use just the arrow key down. You start navigate the menu. Action 104 is that because we have the, the list with roll of none and now we have the, the number of elements. How many elements we have? We have four. So another action, something else here and we keep going. So as you as you notice, that's a quick demonstration of the drop down menu. How can you make it screen reader friendly? Now let's look to the uh, source code itself. Please, here you can see the source code. Also, I will do the same. I will exit just NVDA, insert Q, exit NVDA. Here is the source code. Here is the bottom. We give it already type of bottom. It's okay area control menu list menu area expanded already is false now we give the user list container role of menu area labeled by linked with the bottom and here you can see role presentation for the list menu item for the anchor tag so that's how you can correctly implement your uh, menu drop down to be screen reader friendly I will leave link to this file on GitHub repository. You can download it. You can just test with it. Do whatever you like using MVDA also. Uh, next time we are going to check about uh, models. How can we work with model to make this model dialog 
uh, user friendly also screen reader friendly until then have a nice coding see you there